And I think we have achieved a lot in the first decade of Hammerfall. And uh, I'm very thrilled actually to, to celebrate the 10 year anniversary next year. And we have some, some really uh, cool things in store. We are taking our influences from, from the 80s itself with so many bands, but of course if we start some, some name dropping here, I will for sure mention Accept, I will for sure mention uh, Stormwitch, Halloween, and so on. So of course a lot of the influences comes from uh, the German scene. And Nocturnal Rights have a very typical northern sound, northern Swedish sound to their music. Every song is different from the other. When Oscar is done with the song, he hands it over to me and I start working on the, on the, the vocal melodies and finally I add the lyrics to put some color to, to, to the composition. And uh, I don't really know, I think it's uh, either uh, genocide or carved in stone which was the trickiest ones to compose because I had problems in the, uh, in the chorus department, so to speak. I didn't really know what to put there to make it unique and to sound new and fresh. And when you do that, sometimes you just, you know, you pull, you pull your hair because you get so frustrated. I'm really satisfied with the, the outcome of the album. This is definitely a milestone in the career of Hammerfall because this is by far the most you know, powerful and energetic album that we have released so far. Four years shunned by society There was an article in, in the Swedish newspaper saying that there is no rock and roll in curling. So they want to prove him wrong. So we were uh, invited to, to be part of this video and they wanted to use our song Hearts on Fire. This was a huge success. They, we had about two million downloads of the video on the internet. They broadcasted this video on national TV in Germany, in Italy. We were on the sport charts at a, a sports channel in, in Canada. I mean, usually these channels never, you know, put focus on heavy metal. They never play any metal music. They don't, you know, air any of our videos. So I think it was a really cool thing and also a big victory for, for heavy metal. We will start the European tour on January 18th for five weeks long. Well, of course, there are two dates planned for France. Early February. Metal in France are still, you know, underground. Uh, we always come here doing tours and the people that come to the show, they, they attend the show to have fun, you can really tell. In, in, in Paris, they're great in different ways. They're, they're truly, truly devoted to the bands they like.